It's time once again for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. Hello everybody, it's Uncle Matt and I'm here to read you another bedtime story. And today's bedtime story is about a hospital. I work at a hospital and um, I see lots of interesting things that happen there. One of the things I see is when people are scared and uh, they get really nervous, they cry, they might try to hide under their covers, they might be asking people questions, maybe nurses, oh, what? What's going to happen next? What's going to happen next? So lots of things happen at a hospital if you're not used to it. Things that you're, you're unsure of. So we're going to read a book about the hospital. It's really called The Hospital Book by Lisa Brown. And um, it is copyright in 2023. A new book. Are you ready? Here we go. There's a girl here who I think is the main character. And we're going to start with her. Ow! Ow, ow, do you know where she's pointing to? Her stomach. When I went to the hospital, I cried nine times. Mom, Dad, Grandpa. The first time I cried was when my stomach hurt. The second time I cried was when the car went over a bump. It made my stomach hurt more. The third time I cried was in the waiting room. There were other kids there too. Some of them were sick. Some of them were hurt. Some of them played games or watched screens or fought with their sisters and brothers. A lot of them cried. I didn't cry when the nurse took my temperature or measured my blood pressure. The nurse there says, this thing touches your head. It's going to feel a little tight. That's a blood pressure cuff. And the response, it's squeezy. Or figured out how much oxygen I had in my body. Don't worry, I'm full of air. I didn't cry when I got a bracelet with my name on it. The fourth time I cried was when a doctor pressed on my stomach with her hand and asked if it hurt. It did. I didn't cry when I got a funny robe with ties in the back. I didn't cry when I got new socks with dots on the bottom. I almost cried when I had to take off my favorite hat, but I didn't. So that doesn't count. The fifth time I cried was because of a needle. I'd cry too. Even though the nurse put cream on my arm so it wouldn't hurt. First, the needle took some blood out of my arm. Then it made room for a tube. It was still scary, but it didn't hurt. I got a sticker because I was brave. I was brave even though I cried. But it didn't 
I didn't cry when a doctor took pictures of the inside of my body. I got to touch the wand. There was jelly on it. The inside of my body looked like little hairs or maybe mountains. I didn't cry when the doctor said I needed an operation, but then I saw my mom and dad crying a little bit, so I cried a little bit too. <sighs> but that doesn't count. The sixth time I cried was when an orderly, maybe a porter in some places, they call them porters, pushed my bed down the hall. It was a little scary, but also a little fun. The seventh time I cried was when I was in the operating room. I was scared of all the people in masks. I was scared when it was time to wear my own mask. The doctor counted backwards from 10, nine, eight, seven, she said I'd be asleep by the time she got to one. I didn't believe her because I wasn't tired. I didn't cry when I woke up. I had a popsicle and then I threw it up. Huh. Blah. The eighth time I cried was when it was nighttime. I cried because my new room was filled with beeping machines. I cried because it smelled funny. I cried because nurses kept coming in to check on me. The ninth time I cried was because I was lonely even though I wasn't alone. Dad was there too. In the morning, I didn't cry. Even when the pancakes didn't have blueberries inside, I like pancakes best when there are blueberries inside and strawberries on top. I didn't cry when I walked around the hallway. Even when my balloon popped. I didn't cry when I met a dog. It licked my face. I didn't cry when I rode in a wheelchair. It squeaked. When I got home from the hospital, my stomach didn't hurt anymore. I wasn't scared. I wasn't lonely. I got to wear my own pajamas and my favorite hat and keep the bracelet with my name on it. And my grandpa cried and my auntie cried and my brother cried and my friend cried and my mom and dad cried and I cried, but also we were all smiling. So that doesn't count. The end. The hospital book. Well, 
I hope that helps you if you are planning a trip to the hospital. Are you, can you really plan a trip to the hospital? Maybe I'll put it this way. I hope that helps you if you ever get to go to a hospital in an emergency, if something is happening and they need to fix it or operate it. Well, it was a good book. Well, that's all the time we have for Uncle Matt's bedtime story. I hope you enjoyed that story, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.